last uh, 12 years. Mm-hmm. Uh, whatever I get a coaching is experience get, uh, getting to know kids and um, experience just having fun with them. All the relationships you establish with all your players, whether they're bench players or field players, you get to know everyone. I'm a utility player. I usually play right mid, which um, I, I can uh, be in a striking position or I can be in a position to defend depending on uh, where the ball is in play on the field. What inspired you to begin playing? Uh, my dad. He was my uh, coach since I was playing. How do you prepare for a game physically and mentally? Um, physically, pasta two nights before, lots of water day of. Um, mentally, day of the game, I'm always talking to all my players, seeing how they feel, making sure everyone's loose, and just getting the atmosphere of the game, you know, just watching the crowd, watching the team, you know, just, just really letting the, the setting just flow right in. Uh, the, the impact of uh, soccer in my life is huge. Uh, I dedicate a lot of time to, uh, to make sure that uh, all the kids I coach have a uh, you know, fun and safe environment. It takes a lot of effort, and you know the kids really appreciate it. We've got a lot of good feedback. How do, how do you uh, prepare your players for a game physically and mentally? Well, you got to take practice serious. Uh, you can't fool around at practice, especially if you only practice a few times a week. So everything is like game situation, game speed, and then uh, as far as mentally, mental preparedness, you just got to keep them disciplined and you got to keep them sharp, even about the little things. So what they don't think is important, you make important, and then they start paying attention to everything. And that's how you get mentally and physically prepared for matches. I've been playing for about 12 years now. I started when I was five. I started playing because I saw my brother play and it was a good example. It affects my life in many ways. Like, if I wasn't playing, I wouldn't be fit, and I'd probably be some fat guy or something. So it helps me in that, and it's just a good sport to play around with all your friends. How do you prepare for your game physically and mentally? I prepare for my game physically. I start out with the jog, get some stretches in, just get prepared for the game. And mentally, I listen to my iPod. It, it helps you get focused in the game and get your head in the game. My favorite thing about soccer would have to be going to all these tournaments because if you win, say you win state cup, you go to regionals. You win regionals, you go to nationals. You get to go with your roommates and all your whole team, and it's pretty fun out there. Go! Been coaching now for uh, ten years, um, all over the world. So obviously started in England and. A little bit in Europe and then worked through to uh, the Americas. So. Yeah, and uh, what uh, what inspired you to coach and to play? Um, well, my mum works with disabled kids um, between the ages of five and eleven, so I was got my love of kids from her. And, and uh, how does uh, soccer impact your life, and your players' life? It impacts my life. It, uh, my my life revolves around it. So. Yeah, from the moment I wake up to the moment I go to bed, really. Yeah. And, uh, how do you prepare your uh, your players for uh, physically and mentally for a game? Physically, we do a lot of work. Um, depending on what age group, um, you know, if we've got younger age groups, then we'll do uh, a lot of body work in uh, in sessions. So we body to body contact, and you know, we'll also do a lot of uh, pair work, partner work, and. Uh, and then, and then teamwork. You know. And uh, what would you be doing if you weren't coaching? Probably teaching. Because I don't like do you want to show us a few tricks? Do you want to show you a few tricks? Yeah, yeah I can do it.
I love you all. You're no, great. He's not